First up we have the BLF A6 and the Astrolux EC01. BLF A6, EC01. MSR D4V2, XPL High 5000K, and then the Astrolux EC01. Both of these lights should have a similar lumen output, although the EC01 has a much tighter hotspot. Honestly, it looks brighter to me. The EC01 is also using a 21700 cell. MSR D1 with SST40 5000K, Astrolux EC01. The D1 has more throw and a tighter hotspot, though the EC01 has more overall light output. The D1, EC01. Both great lights though. Now I'll compare the EC01 to the FT03, both made by Astrolux, both using the XHP50 emitter. This is the EC01, then the FT03. Both of these lights should have similar output. You can see the FT03 has a much farther throw while the EC01 has a much larger hotspot. FT03, EC01. While I'm comparing higher lumen lights, I might as well bust out the D18. This is the Astrolux EC01, and now D18. EC01, D18. The EC01 is a pretty great light for the price. D18 has a large flood like nothing else though. Alright, the lights in our video today we have the BLF A6 D4 version 2, MSR D1, Astrolux EC01, FT03, and the D18. But wait, does it make a good unicycle light? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's find out. With its great output and balanced beam with a good combination of flood and throw, I think it makes an excellent unicycle light.